you also have written another article, four wide receivers the Browns should target in trade. And let's run through them, and, and then we'll kind of – Go back to him. Andy Isabella, that's a local kid from uh, Mayfield High School. Um, he's playing with the Cardinals. Uh, Kadarius Tony for the Giants, uh, that's a guy that, former first round pick, and for whatever reason, um, it hasn't gone well with Brian Dable and him in New York. Jamison Crowder for the Bills, that's a guy that is also a pretty good punt returner. Um, and we've heard Denzel Mims of the Jets um, with all the guys that have been. Uh, catching passes, Mims has not found his way really into that offense. When you look at those, who do you think helps the Browns the most? Who intrigues you the most of those four, and what do you like about them? I like Jamison Crowder a lot, and normally I don't know that the Bills would be inclined to trade him, but they do have uh, some needs at safety right now, so it would really depend if the Browns would be willing to give up somebody like a Ronnie Harrison. It could be a good swap. Don't know if they'd really want to do that, but uh, Crowder would be great because he's uh, a veteran that can really get some damage done in the slot. Um, I know that the Bills have been using him on punt return, but they've got other guys like Isaiah McKenzie who can do that as well. Um, but for Cleveland, you know, since week one, uh, Donovan Peoples-Jones has had only one catch. Uh, I think it's uh, one catch total for Anthony Schwartz and two for David Bell. So that's what had me looking around at some other wide receivers. I know Cooper's been doing great, but – they, they could really use some help. Um, Mims is another guy I like a lot. Uh, he's just, he for some reason, can't get on the field with New York. I know they've got some good receivers, but he hasn't even been active so far. So he's a big body guy that can get downfield. I think he'd be a, a good fit in the offense. Yeah, and I'm with you as far as Tony goes. Tony's intriguing. That's a, a former first-round pick, and, and for whatever reason, he can't get on the field with the Giants either. Yeah, and he's got a lot of speed. And the one thing that uh, – about him is he really didn't play receiver full time until his final year of Florida. So I think the Giants probably overdrafted him a little bit. He probably didn't need to go as as early as he did. Um, so he still needs some time to develop. But at the same time, he does seem to be in uh, Dable's doghouse. There was a lot of talk in the offseason that he he could be traded. So I think he's somebody that could be on the move for a team that's looking for a wide receiver. 